I've had some patients lately who have been really confused by the different information and advice that they've been given by different health professionals about their breastfeeding journey. I am Cindy Rubin. I am a breastfeeding medicine physician and fourth trimester doctor in the Chicagoland area. So why does this conflicting information get out there? Why would one professional tell you one thing and another professional tell you another thing? There's a variety of reasons that this can happen and there's nothing to say necessarily that both of those different kinds of information are, that either one is wrong. There's not always a right answer and there's often multiple right answers. So it may depend a little bit on a person's style. It may depend on their training. So my recommendations may be different than a pediatrician who doesn't have any training in breastfeeding or has very little training in breastfeeding. They may give you information based on the very little training that they got on breastfeeding or, or maybe based on their own experience. Whereas I have extensive training in specifically breastfeeding medicine and I may be able to look at the situation a little bit differently and come to a different conclusion than what your other non-trained health professional can give you. And that's not to say that that's not a super smart and wonderful pediatrician. They are, they just don't have that specific expertise. So by all means, you're going to continue to go to them for your preventive medicine and sick visits and things like that. But for breastfeeding, there is a special that you can reach out to. I may also say something a little bit different from an IBCLC because our scopes of practice are different. They are usually nurses or sometimes even lay people and their scope is limited to education and counseling, whereas I can do a full medical evaluation, I can diagnose, I can treat, and so I may be able to come to different conclusions and give different advice. Also, sometimes people are just hearing stuff off of the web, on the internet, or Facebook groups, things like that. And you may sometimes get good answers that way, but you never know who it is and whether or not you're really getting reliable information. So you definitely want to vet whoever it is that you're getting advice from. Another thing is that, you know, sometimes things just aren't necessarily explained in a great way, or we may not be in the right frame of mind. We're exhausted and we may think we hear one thing but actually we hear another thing so having somebody who you can have an ongoing relationship with and ask continued questions and see on a regular basis is going to help so much in your breastfeeding journey to have somebody that you have vetted who you trust who can take the time to really figure out what your problems are and give you personalized care is going to make a big difference and if you do have some sort of conflicting advice, bring it up and find out why you are hearing something different. And maybe that it'll make a little bit more sense and then you'll know kind of which information is appropriate for your situation. I hope that this helps and uh, I hope you have a great day.